Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. In today's video, we are back in the Chamonix State Park, my favorite place in the world, the place where I am employed. I love this place. On my day off, I'm here just to make a video to show the update of what's going on in the garden. Now, I understand the last video I did uh, was here as well, and that was about like 32 days ago. And when I looked at that, I said, wow, have I let that much time go by? I, I couldn't believe it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been very, very, very busy here. Uh, we've been getting both parks into shape, both this one and Benjamin Rush State Park, and getting ready for the season, which the crazy part of the season is about to start this weekend. This is Memorial Day weekend. The pool is opening. We've worked super, super hard to get that pool ready. And uh, we're ready for the season. I mean, it's gonna be crazy. But uh, the main reason I'm here was to check up on the garden because I don't get the opportunity to do that while I'm working, but also to show you what's going on with the garden. Now, I know in the last video I showed that the columbines were blooming. I don't know if anything else is at this point, and I won't know until we get in there. So let's get in there and check it out. All right, here we are. Now, I don't know if I showed this part of the garden in my last video I think I did I think I forgot until the very last second but the volunteers have started another garden here in the old reflecting pool and uh, it's it's flourishing pretty well now the two bushy things that you see here and here they're Coreopsis uh, the rest of them I do not remember what they are but they're all doing pretty good I'd say uh, we have some plants here in the old wall fountain I believe this is a bleeding heart, and then the others in the back are ferns. Here, I'll stand up on here so we can look down on it. Some ferns. It's a bleeding heart. Right here at the old fountain. Now, they have netting around these things just to protect the flowers from the animals, basically. Same thing as having the deer netting around here that we put up last year. And you can see all the plants are flourishing. There's not many blooms happening. Um, the columbine did bloom and the flowers are now falling off. But I think, I'm not 100% sure, they may get a second set of flowers before they stop for the season. Don't quote me on that. Because I think I thought the same thing last year and then they never did and these just became seed pods. Causing it to spread and you can see all the little plants around it, the lighter green color with the same type of leaves, those are all new plants. So I'm excited that it's expanded. And we have all the cone flowers and the, uh, the black eyed Susans and the flocks and a bunch of other things growing in here that, that the other volunteers, or I, I keep calling them other volunteers as if I'm one, I'm not. I'm no longer a volunteer. I explained that before uh, because I'm an employee. Okay, so we'll start that again. We'll say the volunteers have been working very, very hard at making sure everything continues to flourish. They've put in some new stuff. Um, I don't know what a lot of it is. There are some tags, so when you come here, you can read them. That one in particular is called Cobold Gay Feather Blazing Star. So uh, that's this one here in the middle. I got some black eyed Susan growing back there. One of the cone flowers finally has a flower. It's not colored yet, but that'll happen in time. They start off green and then they, they grow into their color. So we have all this stuff growing and this, this is just a beautiful sight. I love it. And I really, really, really do thank the volunteers for everything that they do they're doing an amazing job and i'm walking over here because there's some some newer plants here in the uh in the entrance uh there's some hostas growing in here uh, i'm not sure what that is see i can't make out the uh, tag from here but this thing right here that's pretty it kind of looks like a hosta of sorts but it's not and then we have another one growing over here, right there. Some hostas planted all around. And 
they have also as you can see my gimbal will cooperate which it rarely ever does there we go you can see that a lot of the dirt here uh, has been dug out also by the volunteers and the original stones and bricks are now exposed and that is super super cool i love the way that looks and they got some plants growing on the outside as well they have some plants growing in the old pond over here as you might remember it was filled in with rocks uh, for safety purposes and um, they, they put plants in here that will actually grow in between these rocks with all that water underneath I don't remember what they are maybe somebody out there knows hey look at that there's a dragonfly Let's see if I can zoom in on them that's pretty cool it's the first dragonfly I've seen this season I'm sure some of you have seen others but that's my first and there's some ornamental grass growing here I believe I've shown that before too also doing very well and then the usual suspects as far as plants that grow right here uh, whatever these are but they've been growing here since we started coming around actually more so since they cleared out all the weeds that were around here they started growing in same thing that happened with the hostas all over the place so we also have these plants here again do not remember what they're called but I believe there's, these are the same plants that the volunteers tried putting here last year and they didn't do so hot uh, but these ones are looking really really good so I have, I have faith in the fact that they're going to grow and flourish in here over this way towards the hostas you see all the ferns are doing awesome including the ones that were put in last year over on that side we'll get to them we have a couple different kinds of ferns growing here these ones I know uh, were put in last year and they're they're doing very well, actually, a lot better than they were last year. The two columbine plants over here, they still have their flowers on them. They're still working on that first set. Not as big as the, uh, the columbine that's growing in the raised bed garden, but they're still bigger than they were last year. And, um, you know, they're, I think they're, they've looked better. <laughs> well, this one especially, but that can't really be helped. I think it's the placement of where this is, uh, the uh, amount or lack thereof of sun. But this one's looking a lot better than it did last year, most definitely. And you can see the flowers are still on there. The hostas, my Lord, the hostas. <laughs> wow. They have just grown so thick. Ever since, I, I remember uh, coming in one time and, and seeing the volunteers, uh, a couple of them, on their hands and knees, pulling weeds out of this early, early on. Um, and there was hardly any hosta shown. You can go back in the early videos, and when I go past this, this, this uh, little rounded part here and you could see all the weeds and everything that were growing in there and you wouldn't barely see any hosta leaves growing through and we have not done any of this just, these were all already here they were just being choked out by all the weeds and then last year they grew seed pods and dropped their seed pods and and they're, it's just so thick i wonder if they're going to grow flowers and seed pods again this year we still got a little while to go before that happens but still this is just amazing. I don't know why there's that little bald spot right down in there. I don't know. But everything else, it's just so thick and lush. I, I love it. The uh, wisteria bush. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy by <laughs> the quick movements. It's, it's part me, part the gimbal. Um, but the wisteria bush is all green and some of the leaves are turning red like they usually do and you can see the little viney offshoots like right here uh, and that's because this type of a bush wants to grow on things it just has nothing to grow on other than itself uh, would be really cool if there was something for it to grow on but not allowed to put it in any new structures in here so i guess that's out of the question the flocks that i planted in front of it 
It's looking pretty healthy. It's small, but it's still looking healthy. Got little uh, little pods ready to open up with some flowers. These will be white flowers. We have all different color flocks in, well, not all different colors, but we have quite a few different color flocks back there in the raised bed garden. Check out the ferns on this side. Uh, well, I almost walked past one of them. So this guy last year, at one point, I didn't think it was gonna make it. Um, he's, he's like the dwarf of the ones over here, but he's, he's holding on strong. And then these guys over here are doing excellent. They're bigger this year than they were last year. And let's see, what else do we have to see? There is a new tree over there. I did show that in one of my last couple videos. Uh, we'll go check that out on our way out. And for now, here's the chessboard. The volunteers have been doing an excellent job in keeping up on the grass here. I was worried at one point, uh, for those of you who've, who've been with me through the long haul of this place, uh, I was worried at one point that some squares on the far side there were getting bald spots. Uh, but I assume, and I know uh, I was here one time when seed was put down quite a while back, but maybe more seed has been put down uh, by the volunteers and the grass is looking great. I mean, look at this, it's awesome. We'll walk down and check out those squares I was worried about. Every time I walk through here, I make sure to not walk on the grass. So if I remember correctly, this one here was the one that I was most worried about. And you can see, it's, it's not absolutely perfectly laid out, but it looks so much better than it did, which means it's just going to continue to, to flourish. Maybe drop some more seed down here and there, uh, but other than that... This is all just so awesome. I've recently been watching some of my older videos and uh, because I've been playing them on, on live feeds for, for a network that uh, some friends and I run. And uh, I was looking back on the very beginnings of digging all this out and how you know I started over in this little corner here and then I came in one day and there were a few squares dug out and they were my, my quote mystery helpers who turned out to be the volunteers. And they've all done so much work. And for any of you, the volunteers who might be watching this, I wanna say personally thank you and I know that the community of people who have been watching these videos and who come here and see it for themselves, they all appreciate everything you have all done. And I know I surely appreciated the help in the beginning and you guys ran with it. You, you, you were here faithfully, even in the winter, just to clean out leaves and stuff like that. They've been completely and totally committed to this. And I am proud to say that at one point I was a part of this volunteer team. And I, I love the fact that they're continuing. All right, little sidetrack there was uh, stopped and talked to two of the nicest people and you know who you are. And uh, you can comment and say hi underneath the video because I know you said you'll be looking for the new video. Uh, now trying to remember where it was. Uh, oh yeah, the tree, the new tree. That's the last part of what I can show you. So the new tree, <clears throat> which I believe is a dogwood, uh, same as the tree over here. I, I don't know, all three of them might be dogwoods. I'm not sure. I'm not a tree guy, uh, but when they first brought this in, uh, it had like little tiny itty bitty flowers on it that eventually blossomed. And now you can see the leaves are starting. So this tree has taken very well, all the new trees that were put in because I believe I showed in another video down this way, um, me and some of the other maintenance team, we cleared out the field back here um, behind the little house there. And you can see it way down there. I don't want to walk down there right now because it seems like it's going to rain any minute and I'm going to have to start heading towards the car. But like right, right down, wait, here we go. Right down in there. There's a bunch of new trees. When you're here, you can check them out. Um, we cleared out that area. There used to be a ton of poison ivy there. There is no longer. I know that there was poison ivy there because 
Well, I got it, of course. <laughs> but um, we took out a lot of vines, a lot of junk that was growing back there. And uh, we had a team that was here planting trees. They had planted some back in here as well, um, which while you're here, you can walk back there and you can see it. <clears throat> That's uh, on the back side of the garden. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's everything for right now. So before it starts pouring, because I don't know if it comes through on the video, but yeah, we are supposed to get some rain or the possibility of it and I can feel it. Uh, the only thing I don't see, which I normally do see before it rains is, and I don't know if any, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if anybody ever realized this, but right before it starts to rain, you know it's going to by looking to the trees. The trees, not every single tree, but a lot of them, their leaves will turn upside down as to soak in the rain and get the nutrients from the water. Uh, I don't see any of the leaves upside down, so maybe it's not gonna rain, but just in case it does, I wanna get out of here. So, <laughs> once again, I wanna thank everybody who has been watching my videos, everybody who has supported the channel, I love each and every one of you. I, I love reading your comments. You've all been super, super supportive of everything I've done, and I appreciate it. And you've been sticking with me through these long lapses of time <laughs> where I don't make videos, and that is very, very much appreciated. Uh, I know it gets a little frustrating for those of you that do like watching the videos that I, that I haven't been doing that, but I'm not gonna stand here and continue to promise to try to do better when, when I'm not able to due to uh, work and just life in general. So I will do my best though to make another one very, very, very soon. I have a couple places I wanna check out that aren't too far, so I should be able to get to them easily. I'll just have to wait till a day off. Maybe, maybe tomorrow during the day. I, I do have a little date scheduled with my son to go have lunch, but maybe after I'm done lunch with him, I'll be able to go to one of these locations and I will be able to make a new video and then we'll have a video out two days in a row. Anyway, thank you all again. Thank you for the support for this place. The, the funds that we raised for this, you were all awesome for having given to that. And if anybody wants to continue to give to the fundraiser, even though the fundraiser itself is down off of GoFundMe, you can always stop by here on a Sunday if you happen to see people working in the garden, those would be the volunteers. I'm sure they'd be more than willing to accept any donations, whether they be flowers or money or anything like that. Um, or even if you just want to meet the team of people who have continued to make this place beautiful. Uh, they're here usually every Sunday morning. And uh, yeah, otherwise, make sure you keep a watch out for a new video coming soon. And I will see you all in that one. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.